Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Design. So in this video, I'm going to create a extension hook spring in Catia. So I've already created this spring and SolidWorks. You can check out my video in the description and uh, also you will find in this i button. Okay, so I'm going to create this spring in Catia again and this time I'm uh, using mirror method for creating the hooks. So uh, first of all, let's uh, go on to the shape and uh, generative shape design. And uh, in generative shape design, first of all, we will choose a simple plane over here. After choosing the plane, we need to create the helix. So for helix, I'm just using a point over here. And this point will basically act as the radius of the spring. So for keeping the radius, let's keep the radius to be 30 because the diameter of the spring will be 60. So this is 30, it's given. Now let us create the helix. For creating the helix, you simply have to go uh, to the wireframe mode. And so this is the wireframe mode I'll show you. So this is wireframe mode. In this uh, last option, you will see this uh, helix over here. So going on to helix. Now in helix, we have different options like uh, pitch and revolution, height and pitch, and uh, height and revolution. So in this uh, case, I'm choosing height and pitch. Simply select uh, this uh, point, the starting point of the helix and choose your axis. So axis will be this vertical axis. So now you need to give the pitch. So pitch will be 9.7 as a standard and height will be 97. So automatically 10 uh, revolutions will be there. So you can see a very simple way of creating the helix. Okay. Now. <clears throat> Now, as in the case of SOLIDWORKS we did, we'll do the same thing again for creating the hook on one side and uh, then creating the hook on the other side, we will do the mirroring or from the uh, this side, mir mirroring from this side. So uh, as the spring is uh, completed or the helix is being completed, so to create the hooks, what we need to do is we need to create two sketches. They are basically quarter arcs. Okay, so we need to create two quarter arcs uh, from this point. So first of all, we'll choose the same plane on which this point is there. Okay, on which the spring is coming to an end. So I'm going to the sketch. Okay, after going to the sketch, uh, I need to create a quarter arc in the same direction on which the helix is there. So just going here creating a quarter arc like this so uh, what i will do i'll just constrain this quarter arc so for constraining what we need to do is we need to first of all go to this and now selecting this point and selecting this horizontal and going and coincident okay selecting this and selecting this point and again making coincident Okay, now we can see it is coincident from both the ends and we need to give the radius. So for giving the radius, I'm just going here, giving the radius, which is 30. Now, okay. So after creating uh, this first quarter arc, we need to create second quarter arc, which will go from uh, inside, starting from the same point. So for this, I'm choosing this plane. So going here, creating a quarter arc again. So this time quarter arc will be like this. Now, because this is Catia, so we need to create two axes. These are basically virtual axes and these are used for reference. Okay, because we are constraining the sketches. So we are creating these axes just for our reference. Selecting this axis and this point going to constraint and making it coincident again going to this axis going to this point and going and making this coincident after doing this i'm going to this point selecting this uh, vertical uh, axis for my reference making this coincident and in the same way i'm selecting this point selecting this horizontal axis and going and making this coincident so in this way you are able to make it coincident with the existing uh, sketch now what we need to do is we need to give the values uh, the value will be 30 again because it is the part of that same helix or same spring now guys as you can see that uh, as i told you that uh, if the spring is ending here we need to create two sketches 
okay one in the same direction and one in the inward direction moving upwards and these are basically the quarter of a circle or you can say an arc after creating these two arcs what we need to do is we need to combine these two sketches so for combining these two sketches basically you will find this option in a wireframe the fourth option you will get just expand this in this the second option combine okay so you will find this option in generative shape design if you are going in mechanical design and you are choosing wireframe and surface design I'm, i'll show you in this case you will not be able to find this option this is the wireframe and in this you see only projection is there and intersection is there and no uh, option for combine so in this case what you need to do is you need to go to the shape generative shape design and in this you will find this option so going to this combine option selecting this sketch selecting this sketch or selecting both the arcs and ok so you will find a resultant arc now and this resultant arc will follow both the arcs so see it is following this arc also and it is following this arc also so what we need to do is we can just hide this because this is not required as of now and uh, we are on this plane so to complete this hook we need to sketch something more okay to complete the hook so i'm selecting this plane going to the sketch again and i will complete this hook like this so for this again i need to create an arc so i'm freely creating an arc like this and just to make this coincident and to give this uh, values and all i need to again create two axes just for references so one axis is this and the other axis is this so first of all i need to select this select this point go to uh, this uh, constraint and make it coincident again select this select this point and click here and make it coincident very simple and precise and uh, this is already uh, you know coincided with this one now what we need to do is we need to give the value uh, for this one or we can just directly go here select this point and this point and make it coincident so it will work in the same way or even you can give the distance from here to here and the distance will be 30 so so now it is okay but we can see that uh, this uh, point will move because this is not constrained so uh, moving on to the standards we can constrain this at an angle of 150 oh what happened okay i need to double click this okay so i'm giving the value to be 150 here oh, oh what happened 150 okay so after doing this what we need to do is you can see a proper arc is created a proper hook is created now a very important thing guys you need to make the whole arcs and all everything over here also so this requires time and i did in the same way in solidworks but here what we can do is we can just mirror this over here but one time mirroring will not be uh, achieving the result so we have to mirror two times and how we need to mirror it you can use this technique in solidworks in creo in catia in nxcad anywhere okay so please keep in mind and see that how it is done so see because the uh, height of this spring the basic height of this spring is 97 you all know this so we need to create a plane first of all in the middle so it will be 97 by 2 so i am creating a plane just select this thing create a plane from here and the distance of the plane will be 97 divided by 2 so it will automatically come 48.5 so the plane is in the middle so i need to mirror this arc and this arc okay so i need to mirror these two arcs so instead of mirroring them separate i will join them all together so i will go to the join option i will select this thing i will select this thing because it is helix so only this thing is separate from helix so i'm just combining them all together uh, basically i'm joining them all together 
now what i need to do is i will mirror this so for mirroring this you have a very simple command over here in transformation symmetry go to symmetry select your element which you want to mirror and select the reference so reference is my this plane so now you can see it is mirroring in the same way as it is here but this is not what we require so what we will do is okay we will mirror this time and uh, we will just put this okay but again we will use this symmetry option and this time what we will do we will mirror through this plane keeping reference of this plane so again i am going to symmetry option selecting uh, my element and selecting this plane and this time what i will do i will hide show initial element so it will hide that element and see it is properly merged with the spring so it is in simple two steps you are able to create the sketch here also instead of making quarter arcs and again creating this arc constraining it to 150 degrees and all so this method by uh, using the mirror or you can say symmetry saves your time so after doing this what is the next step the next step is to uh, join all the sketches which you have so totally we have three sketches now first is the this one because we already joined this second is helix and third is this one so i'm going to join again selecting this first sketch selecting this helix and selecting the third one okay so i will just do this again because i think it's not joined yeah it's not joined so go to join select this thing select the helix and select this one and okay so now it is a complete you can say a sketch now we can hide this and uh, we can use a uh, sweep option here go to sweep option and uh, go to the third option here the third option is basically circle and select center and radius so after selecting center and radius give the value of radius here i am giving it 6 okay select your uh, center curve and after this make it preview and uh, the value is uh, i think little larger so what we'll do we'll just reduce the radius over here okay so now this is the correct value uh, which we can put over here okay so after putting this value what we need is uh we need to uh, you know uh, hide the sketch over here i am hiding this sketch and because we are having these open uh, ends so i'll just simply go and uh, fill these uh, ends over here so i'm selecting the first okay closed contour this is done going here and uh, closing this also with the closed contour making it fill okay now we have complete fill uh, you can say surface going to join again selecting this one selecting the two fills also and then okay and now we are jumping on to uh, the mechanical design part design and in this we are going to surface based features and close surface simply go select this surface okay and now you can just go and uh, hide this join so we can hide the surface now we have all together a solid part or you can say a solid spring with us and uh, we can just simply go hide uh, this uh, plane and uh, go and change the color of this part body for better visualization and uh, you can see let us keep this to be orange or green or yellow red whatever you feel like i don't know why it's not here oh i've chosen the below one not an issue so i'm just choosing here and okay so now you can see the spring is done and uh, this is the you can say more easy method and takes less time as compared to creating both the hooks uh, manually this time we have just created one hook 
and just uh, you know mirrored the uh, sketch of the hook uh, we have mirrored two times because it was required to mirror it two times so uh, thank you very much guys for being with me i hope you like this video please do share this video like and uh, subscribe to my channel let's design i am signing off for now thank you very much guys